Hello, and welcome to Hamatro's Quick Cuts. Today, we're going to talk about cutter placement on hinges. As you can see, we have box hinges here. The proper placement on that is to come in from the, the side and cut all the way through. Remember that we want to wrap all the way around the hinge. If we put the tips of the cutters on the flat steel, we have a chance of breaking those. Also remember that we start at the bottom hinge first so that the weight of the door is held on the top hinge. As we move in to make the cut, the first thing that we want to do is ensure the cutters are fully open so that we're ready to make the cut. Put the cutters in place, ensure the cutters wrap all the way around the hinge. Again, we don't want the tip to be placed on flat steel. As the cutters start to move down, they will crush the hinge and start to draw it in towards the back of the tool. With the bottom cut, now we can move to the top, performing the same method. With both hinges removed, now we quite possibly could use the normal method for removing the door by pressing the latch. Here we have a flat hinge strap. In order to cut this, you need to go straight up and down as much as possible, or as much as the door will allow you. That way you're not going to get a lot of roll. You're going to see on this tool is it's actually going to roll just a bit and then bite itself down. As it bites down, it's going to wrap, pull that hinge all the way back to the back of the cutter, sink the cutter in deep and make the cut without breaking the blades. In this segment, we've shown both box hinges and flat strap hinges and the proper placement of the cutters for both. Thank you for watching Homatro Quick Cuts.